Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan here. I wanted to upload the 714 steps it took to make that inner frame as you see it in the video. Uh, so what I'm going to show you are the steps I took to make those boxes for the cup holders, all the IPC trackers, tech trackers, and other trackers to include those circular slots um, for the keeping track of the time and the turn orders, the slot that you see there where you can put your cards, um, and miscellaneous steps. All right, so let's get going. All right, so what I did is I took three pieces of three-quarter inch poplar, cut them square-ish, and then I glued them up. And uh, this will be the block that the cup holder is going to sit in. Later, I will cut a monster hole so that the actual insert will fit. All right, then I took uh, some finished... Uh, uh, pieces of wood that, uh, I don't know what, uh, quarter inch thick, I guess, um, of poplar and cut them so they fit in there perfectly. Later I glue them up. All right, so I uh, glued up the, uh, the four blocks that you see, and then I also cut to size those finished pieces. There'd be two on each side of each block. Uh, so that it would cover up all of the seams of the three pieces of wood stacked on top of each other. In the background, you see I cut finished tops for the block, okay? Because I, I wanted to hide the seams of where the, the finished boards uh, are seen from the top down. And now I'm actually gluing the top down on top of the cup holder block. So I'm doing two at a time here because of my limited number of clamps. So I repeated the same steps on the other two blocks to get them to the proper height, covering up all the seams. And then I went over to a buddy's house and uh, he had his drill press. Um, I had to go buy a special hole cutter to the correct size. As you can see, it's fairly large, but I wanted to have a solid block in there. And uh, so we cut that out and then I uh, sanded down the size to get them fairly smooth. And then on to the next step. So then I threw them into the table to see how they looked. Got those inserts, threw those in, the big holes, and things were looking pretty tight. I was pretty happy with uh, the fit and the feel of how those cup holders, the inserts would slide in with a little bit of resistance, but they would still slide in nice and tight. All right, so now I wanted to <clears throat> get the finished boards, start gluing them. Obviously, I cut them, but I got them clamped up so that they're nice and flush uh, in the inside. And then I have a board and clamps uh, clamping it down so that it will be nice and tight onto the frame. All right, so then I just repeated that process uh, for the other three sides for the top of the frame. Then one morning I woke up super early and it was time to make the cubes for the IPC trackers flat and smooth. So I basically took a, a piece of sandpaper that you see there, glued it not glued it, but stuck it onto this uh, block. And then I, to ensure that each cube was perfectly 
as closely perfectly flat and smooth and the same size. I would sand uh, each of the bottoms and sides uh, to the appropriate number of strokes, if you will, so that everything was as uniform as possible. All right, so now it was time to start placing those cubes down. So what I did was first is I clamped down these temporary uh, beginning and end cubes so that I could clamp a inner frame, if you will, so that I could then glue up the trackers and then slide them into place and then clamp everything down and then wait a good eight, uh, probably four to six hours, I guess. Then I would peel that, um, that uh, temporary uh, finish board off and then everything was nice and secure. And then I would just repeat that process, probably about 25 cubes at a time. And I did that uh, all the way around the, uh, the table. All right, then uh, when I got to the ends, I had to um, go to my buddy's house and cut these circular slots. And the circular slots in this case is, uh, I have some special time uh, little tokens and uh, the team order or the country order. And then on the other side is for the uh, R&D. Anyway, and you can see the, uh, I just basically glued it up, clamped it down. And in some cases I had to go pretty extreme because the wood had been uh, sitting around for a bit and it got a little warped. So I had to break out the heavy boys and then put some muscle down on them things. Let it sit overnight. So this is the other side of um, the table the end. I'm tracking, uh, I created my own uh, way to track the uh, research and development. So you can see I have uh, the circular slots there next to each section of the countries. If you remember uh, G.I. Joe and uh, Sire Blood, they have, uh, they use cubes to track it all. Um, I didn't have that room on my table because I elected to put the IPC trackers on both long ends of the table. And here's what it looks like with the clamps off. Circular slots line up to each country's research and development. Came out really nice. All right, so what I did next is I put two long finish boards where the teams will sit on each side of the table. And you can see that gap there. And the player will will use that gap to place cards and money or anything in there so that they keep it out of their trays. Or, or Next, I wanted to cover up the IPC trackers from the inside, so I cut four uh, strips, finished strips, and then uh, glued them up. And so I did that on all four sides. Oh, man, we're getting near the end. So I forgot to mention the, uh, I had to uh, create those corners where the IPC trackers would ultimately join together if I ran them from corner to corner. Of course I didn't. Um, so I really took my time and um, ensured that those blocks came out with a nice tight miter. And here it is. It uh, pretty much is uh, where it's at today. Um, I've s did a lot of sanding to get it to this point. Uh, it's almost ready for paint and stain. Um, those videos will come later. Uh, I will be spending a lot of time at this point um, creating all the custom trays and all that, all that stuff to hold the crap. So, um, I'm right now figuring all that out. So, uh, I guess look for some upcoming videos in the future. So until then, stay hunkered down and be on the lookout for more videos. Thanks for watching.